want that would just be so cool! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 movie gadgets we wish were real. Hey, look at all these little things. So busy now. Notice how each one is useful. Just to keep things legit, time machines, holodecks, and anything magical is out. Weapons are also not up for consideration, because we've already made that list. Number 10, Hypo Spray, the Star Trek film series. Stand still! Stop it! Kicking off our list is the Bloodless Syringe of the Future. Used as a universal plot device, the Hypo Spray can deliver anything from inoculations to sedatives, and can be used on numerous patients at once. It's also versatile, can work through clothing, and is cartridge based. Back in the 90s, we may have wished for tricorders, but now that we have iPhones, the Hypo Spray takes first place by default. The only unintended side effect is that it would probably make it easier for junkies, but then again, no more dirty needle sharing. Oh, I wish I didn't know you. Don't be such an infant. <sighs> How long is it supposed to be? Unbelievable. Number 9, the Neuralizer Men in Black Trilogy. This is called a Neuralizer. It's a gift from some friends from out of town. Okay, so this one has the potential to cause a lot of problems if it ever fell into the wrong hands. Those tantalizingly precarious thoughts aside, how great would it be to forget a great movie or book and then re-experience it? Medical and psychiatric professionals could also use it to remove traumatic memories. Forget about PTSD, literally. Get married, have a bunch of kids. Okay. Number eight, Passive Dream Machine, Inception. Okay, so holodecks are off limits, and the pods from the Matrix are inherently evil. So that leaves us with this device that allows others to enter a person's dream. A briefcase with wires and sedatives, it was created by the military for training soldiers without risking lives. When you're in it, it feels real. That's why the military developed dream sharing. It was a training program for soldiers to shoot and stab and strangle each other and then wake up. Mind heists aside, imagine being able to visit an incapacitated family member, explore our inner selves, or literally take that dream vacation you've always wanted. Number seven, Squid Recorder, Strange Days. What is all this squid shit anyway? Superconducting quantum interference device, squid. Taking the last piece of tech in another direction, imagine being able to record what's in our heads, from our thoughts to our experiences. Imagine being able to understand a person's point of view by literally getting in their head, or simply have this create a black box for dangerous vehicles. Best of all, it would make education less of a chore. Our only question is why anyone would ever commit a crime while wearing one of these. Because that seems to be the only thing that people use them for in this movie. Number 6. Gestural Interface, Minority Report. Okay, this one is probably a little more realistic and doesn't need a doctor's note. Available in 2054, this computer is simply awesome. No, we're not really hoping for the whole psychic prediction crap, but rather we really dig the well-developed 3D, holograms, and wireless glove mouse. It would sure as hell make editing these videos a little bit easier. We know that the modern day Kinect is getting close to this, but Microsoft's latest offering reminds us more of 1984 than Minority Report. You say something, Chief? No. Number 5, Auto-Adjusting Clothing, Back to the Future Part 2. We've already said that the time machine was out, but wouldn't it be more useful, safe, and consumer friendly to have auto laces on shoes and clothing that's one size fits all? This thing doesn't fit. I'm adjusting fit. Did we mention that it would also have a handy auto dry feature for those hot summer days or the occasional hasty escape through the neighborhood fountain? <sighs> Your jacket is now dry. Number 4, Flying Cars all of science fiction. Fine glory! I haven't seen one of those in 30 years. Uh, uh, sorry! Everyone's been stuck in traffic and said to themselves, if I had a flying car, I wouldn't have to deal with this shit! Granted, licensing would be a nightmare, and the thought of drunk drivers literally falling out of the sky is absolutely terrifying. Add the fact that coupling the fear of auto accidents with the fear of flying might turn off a large number of people, but hey, it would make for some awesome sequels to the Fast and Furious franchise. What the hell was that? Taxi cab. Number three, Universal Translator, all of science fiction. Understanding other languages is super tedious and requires learning and practice. 
it would just be so much easier if we had a gizmo to do all the work. Star Trek has some hidden thing that does this in real time, uh, lip sync and all, while the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy has the Babelfish. As those are actual fish and not technically gadgets, we'd meet those two halfway with a real life C-3PO. That way, you get a translator and a robot butler in one convenient package. Can you speak Bocce? Of course I can, sir. It's like a second language to me. I'm a All right, shut up. I'll take this Shut up, sir. Number two, Iron Man suit, Iron Man trilogy. You're right. We said no weapons. However, we're siding with Tony Stark on this one. It's a high-tech prosthesis. <laughs> that is, that is, that's actually the most apt description I could make of it. The coolest means of personal transportation. It even includes an AI butler with GPS and can be used in safety situations, such as saving lives during catastrophic decompression at 10,000 feet. Okay, fine. The truth is, it gives me an orgasm and I really want one. Sue me. Number one, the hoverboard. Back to the Future 2. I need to borrow your hoverboard. Okay, so technically, the Mr. Fusion device could end climate change and maybe even war as we know it. But who cares about saving the world when you have a freaking hoverboard? Do I have to sell this at all? It's a flying skateboard. I think there's a picture of one in the Webster's Dictionary next to awesome. Get up! Granted, a flying car or an armored suit would be more efficient and might work better over water, but you know you spent your entire childhood hoping to get one of these. Little girl, thanks. Keep it. I got a pit bull now. Agree with our list? Which movie gadget would make your day? For more Wishful Top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hey, Kay, have you ever flashy thing me? No. I ain't playing with you, Kay. Have you ever flashy thing me? No.